Hi everyone, it's Ala. Welcome to my kitchen, Ala's Yummy Food. And today is my last episode with Thai rice, my menu companion. Thank you for sending all your amazing video clips to participate in the campaign and we also have our winners. And congratulations to those who won and they received their prizes already last month. As you know, Thai Homali Rice won the best award in the world for the most delicious and highest quality rice in 2020. Thai Homali rice has the premium quality, amazing texture and smell. It's so good for you. It's healthy, it's full of nutrients, vitamins and calcium. And my best favorite part is that it's completely gluten free. Don't forget to look out for the label which says product of Thailand and the little green logo which indicates that this is a real Thai Homali rice. Who said the Thai rice has to be just a main course? Today I'm gonna show you how to make this delicious dessert creamy, yummy, berry rice pudding. It's so delicious, you will be making this again and again because it's so simple and easy. First thing we're gonna do is take a deep pan and you wanna take a little bit of butter and butter around the sides, just like so. Then we're gonna add our delicious Thai rice straight away into our pot. Add your double or heavy cream. I like to use full fat. And then you want to add your milk as well. Mix everything together and then add your sugar. Then I'm adding a pinch of nutmeg and cinnamon. This is completely optional. I really find that it adds a lot of flavor. And lastly, you want to add a little piece of butter. Place it in your preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius and cook this for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, take off your rice, place it on your towel and just mix through all the ingredients together. This will ensure our sugar evenly distributed and all the ingredients mixed through. And place it back in your oven and cook this for another hour. It will look just like this. It will puff up on top in the middle. You can take this bit out, but I personally love it. So I just usually mix it through with all my rice mixture. And then divide your rice pudding between your jars or pots where you're gonna serve your rice in. Because this is a dessert, you can also have this for breakfast. It's completely up to you. Um, the mixture will set in a fridge and you can enjoy rice pudding hot or cold. And I usually sprinkle a pinch of cinnamon on top and decorate it with fresh berries. I really like the sweet and sourness with the right pudding and fresh berries you can even add berries inside your rice pudding to spice it up for the future and this is how you make this delicious creamy rice pudding with amazing amazing flavor hope you enjoyed my video and I can't wait to see your dishes. Don't forget to join this campaign Thai rice on my menu. Make a video clip using Thai rice to make any rice dish of your choice. This campaign is only open for participants outside of Thailand and if you're producing a video make sure to show that this is product of Thailand or show the green logo. Post the clip on your Facebook or YouTube tagging Thai rice my menu. And think rice, think Thailand. Don't forget to share your amazing recipes with us if you want to win a gift voucher of $300. You can participate in this campaign from 16th of April until 15th of May 2021. Thanks guys and see you soon, bye.